there, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Gary Schumacher Exposes False Prophets. If uh, this is your first time to my channel, please li like and subscribe and smash that notification uh, bell for more content. Today, I got a good one for you, folks. I got to give another shout out to my buddy over there, Matthew715. Um, I was going through his channel today and I found some wild stuff here. What uh, Matthew found here um, was Amanda Grace's real name, and that's not all he found, okay? Um, he found that uh, she's um, a, a church. Well, she's not a church. Her ministry is a nonprofit. And um, so you got to report your income to the government. And uh, what I'm seeing here is uh, I'm not sure what's going on with her. But anyway, let me switch over to this here. Um, there was some music playing behind it. I turned it off because um, I'm just kind of kind of going through um, – it's video, but I'm just going through some paper, uh, the, the paper documentation here. So there I am. Hello. And this is what um, old Matt found out. Okay, so I, I got some notes here. So her real name is obviously not Amanda Grace. I never thought it was. But she has, uh, They he found two names, as you can see. He found Amanda Carbone. Hey, you remember Frankie Carbone? They found him in the meat truck on Goodfellas. Remember that? Hey, oh, hey. And Amanda Wagner. Now, um, I'm going to let this play a little bit because he, he does jump around here quite a bit. So I'm going to have to start and stop this. So uh, as you can see, he's moving around. He's moving around here. And uh, so, uh, okay. So he's, he's looking around for her. And here he goes. Here's a picture of Amanda Grace way back when on Facebook. The hair just keeps getting bigger, doesn't it? And uh, yes, very uh, few few years ago, it looks like here that was Amanda Grace or Amanda Wagner or actually here Amanda Carbone. I guess that's when she was still single because her husband Chris his name his name is Wagner. Now, why she uses Amanda Grace? Who knows? All right, so we're gonna here we go. This is her old. Uh, it looks like Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter on PQ. Whatever that is. I don't think this is her. This looks like another, this is another Amanda Carbone. Uh, so we're just going to flip around here. I'm going to let uh, Matthew do his thing. Okay, so it says here, Amanda Carbone, 42, Hopewell Junction, New York. Of course, we're not going to give out Amanda's. Even I'm not that big a low life to give out Amanda Grace's uh, address or anything like that. But uh, yeah, that's where that's where she's at. Though. Even she, she doesn't. You know, denied she lives in upstate New York. And, uh, yeah, that's another thing of her. She had some hair on her, didn't she? She's toned it down a bit. So he does jump around quite a bit. I'm at the, I'm at the mercy of old Matt here. So <laughs> this is not me doing this. But, uh, all right, well, I don't know why we got Elon Musk in here, but hi, Elon. All right, so uh, Amanda Carbone, New York. And then we have Am Amanda N. Wagner, Instagram photos and videos. And we got some more pictures of all the men. Oh, there's the big hair on Twitter. I've seen this picture ever before, though. And she's slowly morphing into the Amanda Grace that we all know today, the false prophet we all know. I just don't understand the uh, the name change, though. So here it says Amanda Wagner. And then she's starting to get into this prophetic thing. This is from, uh, she joined back in 2013. She came, claims to be a prophetic ambassador and apostle. Um, I've already done a video on apostles. We all know, you know, we already know she's a false prophet. She's also a false apostle. Uh, apostle as well. Why can't I talk on this video thing? I don't understand. And this this one here, I'm, I'm I'm kind of unscripted, so I'm flying by the seat of my pants. Sometimes I'm funnier that way. <laughs> All right, so here's a bunch of stuff on her. She's doing her. She's starting to do her Bible stuff here uh, in uh, twenty, uh, I believe, nineteen September, twenty sixteen. It goes back to. So he just scrolls a lot of this is uh, just Facebook stuff, I guess. Uh, I don't know. She's Amanda Wagner at this point, at Grace. So somehow that becomes her last name for some reason. 
I always wonder why her, her, her husband, Chris, never, never, never call him Chris Grace. But this is, uh, this is him just scrolling down here. But there are some interesting things coming up. It's her sitting in her car for some reason. She just, I guess she was just like, uh, some of them just sit in their cars and do their, their thing before they got a studio set up. But this, there's some fascinating, all right, here, this is pretty good. All right, so now, this is her, she's, our Ark of Grace Ministries, she has listed as a nonprofit. Not a, uh, not a church, okay? She has it listed as a nonprofit. Now, a nonprofit has to answer to the government, okay? That's what they call a 501c3, all right? And uh, there's the company name. Her status, delin delinquent, okay? She, I happen to work for a nonprofit myself. And you have to report how much money you take in, okay? They still want to know. They're not going to charge any taxes on it, but they still want to know. And she ain't telling them. So, because it's delinquent here as of March 2020. And she's been delinquent. Uh, oh, oh uh, incorporate. This is over two years ago. I'm sorry. And a uh, nonprofit corporation. So, she's incorporated. So, this sweet little uh, lady you see on there telling her prophecies, there's a lot going on here. Up where up there in Hopewell Junction, New York, uh, upstate New York. Okay, but let's read on. Agent name: Northwest Corporation Services. Address: Tacoma, Washington. Blah blah blah. Director: Amanda. Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda Grace, Governor. I'm not really sure what all that all entails. Amanda Grace, Initial Board of Directors. Christopher Wagner, Initial Board of Directors. Christopher Wagner, Governor. Then we have David Scarlett, Governor, David Soland, initial. I don't know who these people are. And then you got Northwest Corporation Services. Uh, so, and she has an agent. So look at that. Amanda Grace has an agent? I thought she was just a, a, a prophet online getting stuff. For, why does a prophet of God need an agent? Who knows? But let's, let's read on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get hammered on this. I know I am. I know I am. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Okay, uh, recent filing of Ark of Grace, April 1st, 2022. Delinquent annual report notice, February 1st of February. Annual report due, uh, due date notice. Uh, amended annual report, annual report, April 2021. Delinquent annual report, annual report due date notice. She don't like talking to them. And there it is. There's her name right at the top. Other officers of Ark of Grace Ministry showing first 30. First 30. Okay. There are a lot of people behind this. This is a money-making machine. This little web, you think this little YouTube channel she has here. Um, this is just the tip of it. This is how she gets her message. She's also on uh, um, Trump Trundle or whatever, or whatever. She's a, this is not the only media platform she's at. So um, what else have we got? Similar names. Okay. I don't know if these are her. So there's just some similar names, but I'm not going to say these are her. Because on, on the internet, you can find all a bunch of names. You can look up my name. There's a bunch of me's out there. But if you there's only one, there's only these people with her picture tied to it. So. Kind of hard to uh, to hide that. But yeah, this is Amanda Grace. This is your prophetess of God. And she's got a lot of people backing her up. All right, this is her husband, Christopher Wagner of Mark Grace Ministries. Oh, no, I don't want to show that. Okay. So we're going to back out of here now. And we'll go back to my ugly mug. So, yeah, I had to put that in. Thank you, uh, Matt715, for sharing that. And uh, I got to give you a huge shout out. I, I even wrote on his page, where do you find this stuff? Okay. Now, listen, there's nothing on there that, you know, that's really that bad. You know, there's no... Uh, 
smoking gun there. It just kind of shows you where she's coming from, what she's up to. Okay. And uh, it's, you know, what's with the alias? I mean, really? She's supposed to be a, a minister, apostle, prophet. Why, why are you changing your name? What do you got to hide? Okay. And you'll say, oh, but Gary, celebrities change their names all the time, you know. Uh, yeah, they're celebrities. You're supposed to be a prophet of God. Why are you changing your name? Okay. Why don't you have an actual ministry instead of an LLC? Okay. Which is a nonprofit. Okay. Well, who are all these people on your board of directors and all this stuff? I mean, give me a break. And then you pass yourself off as some simple little woman who sits in her living room and and God gets you up at 3 a.m. and gives you prophecies. And it, yeah, God better get you up at 3 a.m. to give you prophecies because there's a lot of people on that list that are counting on you to give you prophecies. Boy, and I bet there's a lot of people on that list to help you write those prophecies too, don't they? You know? Uh, because, you know, a girl from the Bronx, they don't, we don't talk like this, you know? Yeah, of course not, because you've got a bunch of uh, script writers writing it for you. And they, I mean, that's, that's quite a list of credits there, you know? And, that, and, that's, and that's only diving a little bit into, into your nonsense. But, yeah, so I'm going to make this short. I just wanted to bring that to you to show you, you know, that she's not who she says. She is, obviously, she's not Amanda Grace. She's Amanda Carbone, Amanda Wagner. That's why I, I put down here. Oh, where did it go? I can't believe I did that. I had a beautiful little uh, header down here. It said... Uh, Amanda uh, Carbone um, Wagner Grace, but I don't see it now. Oh, well, I worked hard on that. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go. Um, please pray for this woman, okay? I, it's, you know, I've said it before. She got herself mixed up with a bunch of people. I, I had this feeling she's, she started out probably as a hairdresser with that head of hair she had on there back in, you know, it looked like the 80s. And, uh, you know... And she got sucked into all this, and, and now she doesn't know how to get out of it. So please, let's say a little prayer for Amanda Grace right now, okay? I pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord in heaven, I pray tonight for Amanda Grace, that you pull her out of this false ministry, this prophecy, this prophecy thing that she's going through, this false prophecy thing, and... You, we all know that she's not an apostle. All right, I made a, a video about that to try to show my people who I fellowship with that what an apostle is, and she's not one. Please, Lord, open her eyes. The road to salvation is narrow, a few will find it, but the road to destruction is wide, and a lot are following that, and she is. So help her find the road to salvation. Help her husband, Chris, with his brain injury, and help him find the, the salvation that he's looking for too. And with that, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks. That's going to do it for me tonight. I said it's going to be a short one. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your week. And uh, don't get taken in by these false prophets. God bless.